Hey guys, uh, Dr. James Simcock here from Vet Dojo um, and South Paws. Just to have a quick video for our members channel today, an interesting case that um, I've been working up. It's a three-year-old Australian Bulldog and he came in um, basically with an incidental finding of a mass in his ventral cervical region. Um, the referring vets had done an ultrasound on the mass and taken some aspirates and the aspirates were consistent with a thyroid carcinoma. And so I was already a little bit kind of interested in that diagnosis because the, um, the dog is only three years of age and the um, median age for dogs with thyroid carcinoma is normally around about nine or 10 years old. So we did a CT scan today, which I wanna show you. And this is what we're looking at here. And as we roll backwards and forwards, um, what I'm interested in, this is a contrast enhanced CT scan, is these two structures, there's one here and there's another one just here. And if I put the calipers on these, um, they're about 16 millimetres by 15 millimetres and about 13 millimetres by 17 millimetres. So um, it's interesting because both of the adrenal glands, sorry, both of the thyroid glands are enlarged. Now it is possible that you can have bilateral thyroid carcinoma and the prognosis with that is generally um, not as good as when it's unilateral. Um, but what I'm interested in is, as I say, is that this dog was only um, three years of age. So what I have done is spoken to the owners and given the options for, um, for further investigation and, and work up. And what I've elected to do is to send the CT scan for a radiologist opinion. You should get that result back in a couple of days time. Um, the other thing I've done is taken another aspirate of the mass to see if we can get any more information back. And I guess with this case, what I'm worried about is in terms of treating this, both of these, if these truly were thyroid carcinomas are quite small and would come out without too many problems, they're both very mobile. But what I'm more worried about is that the parathyroid glands are attached to the thyroid glands. And so if we take out a single thyroid tumour and both of the parathyroid glands on that side, it really doesn't cause any problems. But if we were to take out both of the thyroid glands and all four of the parathyroid glands, then we would need to potentially, um, or most likely, manage with... Um, vitamin D and possibly calcium, calcium supplementation to, to treat um, the lack of parathyroid hormone and the, the resulting hypocalcemia. In some cases, we can try and take one of the parathyroid glands off and either reimplant it into the muscles or try and preserve it with its blood supply, um, but that's not um, always gonna work as effectively as we'd like. So we're in a bit of a holding pattern with this one. I'll keep you updated with the progress. It's an interesting one. And I'm also a little bit gun shy with this because I had a very similar case recently um, in the last few months, it was an older dog in that case, but um, similar uh, CT appearance, bilateral, fairly symmetrical um, change. And we ended up taking out both of those thyroid glands in that dog. Um, on pathology, on histopathology, he came back with normal thyroid tissue. So um, I don't want to rush in and take these out um, without getting some more information. So a bit of an interesting case. The other thing I just wanted to show you um, is um, the VSSO website. Now VSSO, is the Veterinary Society for Surgical Oncology. Um, and if we go back to the home page, uh, how do I do that? Or if we come to the website, we can go to um, the resource section. Um, and in the resource section, we can look up um, a bunch of different resources that they've got there, but they have, um, I'm trying to find it now, in here, disease specific info if you click on here this is free access you can see both canine and feline cancer you can search by tumor type in this particular one um, we're looking at thyroid carcinoma so we can come in here um, we can click on thyroid carcinoma and there's a bunch of really great um, literature review and, and there's some of these different diseases so we can come down to, for instance here to general considerations and we can see here median age for these tumors nine or ten years um, we can look at clinical features things like that um, and then also um, prognosis. So this is also interesting. You can see here the big prognostic indicators for thyroid tumours um, are invasion of adjacent tissue. Um, and so that's tumours that are generally um, immobile when we try and move them. And then also the tumour volume is quite important. Interestingly here, you can see the bilateral thyroid carcinoma has a 16 times greater risk for developing metastatic disease. So all really great information. Um, if you have a, a diagnosis of a tumour, you're not sure what um, you're looking at or what information you need to talk to the owners about. It's a great resource for you. So enjoy that, guys. I'll keep you posted once we get some results back.